Hey there, I'm Will the Troll, and I'm going to be doing my Rings of Power review. Um, watch along thingamabob with my girl Galadriel, and, you know, I'm so excited for this thing, because it's going to be full of battles, and lore, and the best storytelling ever. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I'm so excited for you to watch along with a troll, the Rings of Power. So, all right, here we go. Um, I gotta click on the, click on the thing on the bobber. Okay, here we go. Rings of Power. Right. This mark's very existence proves Sauron escaped. The mark proves that uh, Sauron escaped. Not, not the lack of a guy. I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, keep going. on. Do you remember anything more yet? <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I I didn't know most of that stuff happened because first season, um, I didn't watch it. Floral tried, floral tried, um, but I, I feel adequately caught up now. So uh, between that and Wikipedia, I should be totally fine. Always after defeat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that crown totally saw Ron's. That would make sense. I mean, I'm so excited for this. Again, you know there's going to be battles and drama and uh, intrigue. That's right. You're going to get caught off guard because of how intense and revolutionary this whole thing is. Okay, knock off Simon Pegg. Knock off Simon Pegg is Sauron. There is absolutely... Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. I can't be critical because I am so excited for this. It's going to be awesome. Books will die. I think I saw Gator. Some of you guys don't know who Gator is. That's okay. Probably for the better. I really can't take the guy that looks like Simon Pegg seriously. He, looks just, he just looks like a really young Simon Pegg. That's just kind of what goes through my mind. Just... Not as good of an accent. So they should have just cast Simon Pegg. Men will never look upon you with anything but horror and disgust. Okay, so I, I get what Simon Pegg is saying. Um, now, and I think that he delivered that masterfully. Right? Like that guy? Nailed it. Definitely the acting. Definitely better than last season. Okay, so that's that's a win. I mean, I mean, I don't really technically know because I didn't watch it, but I, I, I guarantee you it's going to be better overall. Overall, yeah. A corrupted and ignoble race worthy only to be hunted and slaughtered. Um... Pretty sure Floral's daughter always asks when he goes fishing if uh, if he stabbed the fish in the eye. That's kind of what I got out of this. It was like a, a five-year-old. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because Saron, he's so young. Because he's just a five-year-old Simon Pegg. All right, here we go. I am your only future! And my path, your only path! See, this makes me believe that he's totally Sauron. Like, look at that acting. Look at that passion. I'm feeling it. I, I, I'm getting it. I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. So it, it totally makes sense. All right, but now there, there's a lot of orcs. No trolls yet. But the, uh, these kinds of things can be forgiven, right? Because I mean, we know that there's going to be some good action. All right. <laughs> See, they're talking like orcs. So totally legit. Sauron bows to no one. Except for when he's being crowned, apparently. You know, I can tell with all the gore that they're definitely trying to, like, elevate the, the quality. That's obvious. That's obvious. Because, you know, lots of gore. That totally makes sense in Lord of the Rings. Um, in, in, in all of the Peter Jackson stuff, the Heads go flying off all the orcs all the time, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, so it makes sense that you would have tons of blood and gore. 
It's scientific, guys. It's scientific. You get stabbed by that many orcs, there's definitely going to be blood and gore. So it's, it's totally fitting in this universe. Don't question it. Just know. Wikipedia probably would be like, well, of course there's there's blood and gore because I mean if you look at the the like health and all that kind of section section um bodies have blood so if they get stabbed blood comes out okay science don't deny the science so we've just been given an entire section where uh, Sauron is trying to convince the orcs to be on his side and that he loves them and he'll be their daddy but um. Um, basically, the orcs are like, no, we, we don't like you, and um, whoever elf guy is that's there too, um, I think it's Adar or whatever, um, he's like, no, no, I'm your daddy. That's that's basically where we're at. Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. That's, that's, uh, yeah, I think that sums up so far what we've seen. And the gore. Lots of gore. Noted, you stab Sauron, you get Elsa. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Sauron pulled a Yoda! Combined with an Elsa. That makes sense. Obviously, obviously this makes sense. Um, that all the orcs would know. Be like, yeah, we we're 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 under Adar. Cause Wikipedia suggests that that's probably true. Okay? All right. Don't some of you guys are laughing. Don't question this. Don't question it. You you know, hail the sorry, the orcs that they, they like Adar. Probably because it's easier to say than Sauron. Because <laughs> I mean <laughs> let's be serious. Adar is far, far closer to Dada than Sauron. And also Sauron's far too confusing because later he gets Saruman. So it's like, is it Sorry Man or you know, so Sauron? I, who knows? Who knows? Uh, you, you, you hear Sauron, you think you probably got a blister, but uh Adar, he's your daddy. I don't know about you, that though, but that all that blood running down the rocks thing. That totally makes Lord of the Rings make more and more sense. You're like, oh, that's how he became the eye. I get it. I get it. All right. Okay, so already, um, I'm seeing high quality editing here because they're like they're cutting away from things and then right back to it, away from things and right back through to it. It's you know what? I think I can appreciate this because I think this is just what one big epic troll. So, I, I'm actually kind of down with this. This is making sense. This is making sense. It's Nelson. Hey, Nelson. I didn't know we had a cameo. He's better. Maybe that's why Nelson didn't tell me about the cameo. Sauron's so reforming into the power of worms. Worms Armageddon reference. Well done. Sauron, the amoeba of doom. <laughs> Sauron, the seal of doom. Which kind of works because seal, right? As in like he, he, he closed the envelope. But also seal because he just slid down the mountain like looking like, looking like a seal. That guy's doomed. You totally know it. This writing is so quality, you know, he's done. He's cooked. Ah! Oh, all right, hold that. I didn't think there'd be a scream right away, but I mean, I did. Well done, me. All right. Sauron can reform from the wormy seal of uh, doom, but now he looks like Halbrand. Because I've seen this on Wikipedia. Oh, I was right. Hello there, Halbrand. Look like you should be in a boy band. Now seriously, look at him. Look at that boy man look. He's got like the shirt half opened and all that. They may run and hide when they're screaming the name. All right. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. But let me tell you now, there are prices to fame. All right. There's another life waiting for you. You just have to turn toward it. Flora would like that. That's like the gospel being preached. You were one way. 
Now you can have the other. That was really nice of Jeff Bezos to introduce the gospel like this. So kind of him. Not heraldry. Oh, this is the tale of Jonah. That's what we're getting, right? Because he's like, no, I'm going to go the other way. And now he's going to get swallowed by a fish. I was joking. Or I'm a prophet. Because <laughs> Jonah. Throw things overboard, guys. Including oh, Sauron. You gotta throw him over. Swallow him. Swallow him, Jonah. Swallow him. Swallow him. Swallow him. Ah. What? Well, that's not fair. Now this is just like an environmentalism story. I thought that they, now Sauron's gonna have to like, or Hellbrand or whatever the heck his name is, he's gonna have to like take off that netting. Ugh, I thought that we weren't gonna get enviro mes environmental messaging with this stuff. I thought that we were just gonna get Lord of the Rings. Well played, Jeff Bezos. Well played. The Rings of Power. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm digging it. Watch, guys, now we're going to get a battle. Either fleeing or running. They're scared they're going to die. What? Are they, are they seriously just, like, just playing get it from me? Or whatever everyone call it. Like, ha ha, I got it. You don't. It's mine. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> a bridge. Where's the troll? I mean, you got those people. Where's the troll? Come on, bridge. That's my girl Galadriel. She could have taken those guys. This is Galadriel we're talking about. Where's my fight scene? Ugh. She could have whooped them with her fists, but now she's gonna whoop them with her words. And that, my friends, is the sign of developed writing. Here we go. I don't know why he's trusting her. I'm just, like, being honest. I, I can't think of a reason why he was trusting her, because remember, he sent her away, and then she jumped off, and then she was back, and he was like, hey, what are you doing here? And now... And that, now... Now we're here. Now who is this man? Don't give up your... your individuality. Of all our kind. He deceived me. I was deceived. No, Galadriel, you were blind. The biblical references here are through the roof. I mean, there was the apple, don't touch the apple. The woman was deceived, and she went for it. I mean, it's funny how history just repeats itself. Am I right? Give them to me. See, he's absolutely making sense, right? Because he knows that Sauron helped make the rings. Because Elrond just said, Sauron helped make the rings for weeks. And so this guy's like, well, obviously the thing that was made by Sauron, well, pff. so the plot thickens, kids, the plot thickens. And uh, obviously these things can be used for good. Because, yeah, I hate to be like for Elrond, but he's kind of right. What's, what's, what's with this king? I thought elves were supposed to be smart. And why am I being logical about this? This doesn't even make sense. And I'm just seeing... See, that's what this show is doing. It's, it's writing. It's making you think. Let's get your noggin going. So you, you got to make sure to be thinking too, okay, kids? Jump. 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 He's going to do it. Sticky boy. Jump. 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 Nah. That's how you know he's a real man. He's like... I'm not no band, and he jumps off a cliff. That is manly -ness. Talk about testosterone flowing out of that guy. Oh, the volcano is Mordor. Got it, got it. I thought it was Mount Doom. Hellbrand's in chains. Hmm. Move those legs, King. Remember, when you see Adar, you think, Dada, who is your daddy? Gore. But is Gore. The no this more. Adult. This is far better writing. Let my people go. 
Another biblical reference. This is this is amazing. That's why you guys know that these guys, the writers, we are playing. They're they're honoring Tolkien because they got biblical themes all throughout this. You got Jonah. You got Adam and Eve, and now we got Moses. This is amazing. Why is that orc so tall? It's Gandalf, and he's he's either drunk or tired or whatever, and he's like wandering off into the desert. Is this another biblical theme? Are we getting Elijah? Let's find out. Not Elijah. That was just weird stick stuff. Okay. That's two people that have said you've had that dream again, haven't you? Okay. All right. Oh, they're being followed. Interesting. How are they going in circles? Is she leading them? Because, I mean, women drivers, I mean, it makes sense. But, like, they got a mountainous reference that they could see right there. Like, walk past it. This doesn't make sense. S smack a rock. Get water. What is she doing? Oh, no. She's gonna... oh, no. Oh, come on. You might bear some fruit. At least you could do is try. Have you forgotten what happened when last I tried such a thing? Is he going to blow up the tree? Nori. He did blow up the tree. Okay. Didn't see that coming. But, I mean, I guess I did. I really am a prophet. We'll eat for days. <laughs> yeah, if you're in the WEF. Bugs and you'll be happy. Just beyond the sunset. Oh, that's oh, the puppy. <laughs> the little warg puppy. Yeah, yeah, give him kisses. I don't do so deep and remember you're here. <laughs> Definitely going for adult themes on this. So there you go. Eat the meat, stab the dog. Eat the meat, stab the dog. Because you got a bone. Eat the meat. Stab the dog. Ram it down his throat. Come on. Now he's gonna eat it. No. No oh, man, I thought he was gonna eat it. I feel like sharing an ice cream cone with a puppy. Oh, 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 oh! It's a bridge. Oh man, and Elrond's under there. I thought we were gonna find a troll. Which? Kinda, because he did jump off a cliff and made them think he died. And uh, now he's under the bridge. So, it's a good spot. It's a good spot. Well done, Elrond. Well done. They're making a menorah. In Middle Earth. All right. Oh, it looks like a boat. <laughs> Never mind. Wow, this is like the closest thing we have to a hobbit hole so far. But it's for people. Wait, the this guy's an elf? The greatest test in an age. It's kind of weird. Elves don't have beards. That guy doesn't look like an elf. He looks British. And nobody likes the British. King, we have not found the rings. Ah, so he just the seed one. Yet, Got it. Got there's it. no trace of him. That elf armor doesn't look Escape good. Is not his plan. Uh, this guy again? I've seen The bearded elf doesn't make sense. The rings may well be a ploy on his part. A device in some larger plan, the end of which we cannot yet see. That's foreshadowing. Elrond knows. Me? See, here's the thing. Elrond's right. But what I'm understanding from Wikipedia is Galadriel. She probably would have thought the same way. But not in this show. She's a rock star. So she's just like, no, we're going to have the rings and they're going to be mine. And we're going to rule the world. So there you go. Can't go under it, can't go around it, must go through it. Remember, adult themes, kids. Adult themes. Adult themes. Adult themes. Now it's gonna be adult themes. Oh man. Yes, well, we appear to be lost. 
Oh, so now you admit it. Oh, well, you won't be for long. Look, sing, Look sing, at the mountain. Sing, You're in the friggin' desert, and there's mountains. <sighs> okay. Past eyes of pale fire. Black sand for my bed. I trade all I've known for the unknown ahead. All of that makes complete and utter sense. Why are you questioning it? Okay, don't question it. Embrace it. And they are still being followed. Nice. The danger hasn't passed. Because we saw the skull face person now twice. And obviously it wasn't going to be the chick. Oh, that one's got a bird face. Also nice. Cast it into the fire. Or the depths. Is that the fish? Wait, is this Jonah? Oh, he wants to put it on. It's my own. My precious. Why is that guy, like, okay, seriously, why does he have a beard? You vow allegiance to Adha, Lord Father of the Uruks. Who's your daddy, Sauron? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Adar is his daddy. <laughs> then kneel, now swear it. I vow. With your head at my feet. I vow to serve the Lord Immortal to the end of my days. Well done, Sauron. You're pledging allegiance to yourself. You didn't say you serve Adar or your daddy. You pledge allegiance to yourself. I, I appreciate that they made sure the elves look like how, how Professor Tolkien envisioned them. That that's that's I'm getting that. I'm getting those vibes. So Makes the most sense. Their outfits are like the rainbow. So, makes sense that they would be too. I feel like he's too thick for an elf. You know, like in the neck. He just doesn't have that look. Our days in Middle Earth. Their destruction has come. Plot twist. He's back. With the rings. Nice. The chick one's for Galadriel. I bet you didn't know that. Yeah. No! See? It wants her. Saying, I'm yours, you're mine. We are family. Pick up me and put on and see. It makes sense. Come on, that. Yeah. She's lusting after that power. She's like, I could be powerful. I could be great. I could be more girl boss. Mm. Put on the power of girl boss. Do it. Do it. No bling. No um ruling anything. There you go. She's got the touch. Mm -mm. She's got the power. That guy, he just conveniently was missing a ring for that finger. See, it was destiny. And everybody's happy. They do say that jewelry makes a woman happy. Apparently, I mean, happy, happy wife, happy life, or uh, happy Galadriel, happy um, philabrial thing creation. That was elvish for stuff nice reference to lord of the rings <laughs> see see they're doing such a good job except galadriel can't hold her hand still everyone else can maybe she was nervous why are they lowering it from the roof Okay, I, I don't know if you guys, but uh, the elves, they, they don't typically build underground. Why they lower an anvil from the roof? I mean, it's a weird place to put an anvil up on the roof when you can bring it through a door. A lot easier. Mm. 
But I'm trusting the writers because they know what they're doing, obviously. Well, my lord, can we grant him entry? You already let him in. Well, I don't know about you, but I definitely think that was thrilling and exciting. You just got to see my girl Galadriel do her thing. She's got her own ring of power, and it's bringing life. Guys, I am pumped for this show. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be riveting. It's going to grab me by the heart. I will say, though, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, the, the, the commercials were like, Hey, get ready for these battles. And there, there wasn't really much battles, but there, there was a lot of gore. So they got that. They got that, because that's very Tolkienian, is all the gore. So, perfect, perfect. And, uh, yeah, aren't you excited for the next one? <laughs>